guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my best baby changing hacks and also talking to you about my favorite nappies. I've been using nappies for nearly seven years on my kids, not on myself. Um, and by the time my youngest is potty trained, I will have gone through approximately 13 and a half thousand nappies. So that is a lot of changes. So I feel like I've got some really good tips for you. And if you've followed my channel for a while or you've subscribed to me for the past three and a half years, then you may have noticed that there is only one type of nappy that I use on this channel. You can go back and look at any what's in my bag, what's in my hospital bag, any newborn video and you will see that I have only ever used Pampers nappies and I've actually been approached by other brands in the past and I've always said no because I only use Pampers on my children and there are a few reasons for that they are the only nappies to be recommended by the British Skin Foundation they are so kind to newborn skin and my boys are quite sensitive and they've always coped really well using Pampers they're also really active and I found that Pampers have really kept up with how crazy and active my children are they're also the only brand to actually make their nappies in the UK in Manchester so just like Cornish pasties are made here Denby pottery is made here in the UK Pampers are made here as well which I think is really cool and they also go through so many rigorous tests to check for quality they go through 130 different checks for the nappies and there are 33 people whose job it is just dedicated to checking the quality of the nappies and one stat that I think was really nice that I only just learned from working with them is that 80% of the production staff at Pampers are parents themselves which is so nice because I think as a mum I would not only notice if something was wrong with a nappy but I would also care more. I would know as a mum how precious the nappy that I'm making, how precious like a little person that is going to go on. So I think that is a really, really nice thing that they do. And I just love Pampers. We've only ever used them. So now I'm gonna get into my changing hacks and I really hope you enjoy them. All of these have like come from experience over time. So I really hope you get something from it. So without further ado, let's get into the hacks. So let's start right at the beginning when you have a newborn and they still have their umbilical cord on. You want to make sure that it is outside of the nappy so that it can dry up and fall off. Fold a normal nappy down that will keep it nice and dry. My next hack is one you may already know but it actually took me a few years of motherhood to work this out and that is that there is a really easy way to check if your baby's nappy is wet or dry. There is a yellow stripe on the front of their nappies and if that yellow stripe turns blue they are wet. So you can have a quick little peek through their clothes even if they're sleeping and see if they are wet or dry rather than really disturbing them and having to have a good look inside. In the early days with my babies I just got into the habit of checking their nappies every time that I fed them. Baby skin can be quite sensitive and this will help avoid any nappy rash. I would also use a barrier cream or a nappy cream often and especially at night um, and if you don't want to use a traditional one coconut oil is a really good natural alternative. A couple of really good tips to avoid a leaky nappy is to make sure that you pull out the frilly parts of the nappy around your baby's legs. This will make sure that everything is kept in and also make sure that your baby is always wearing the right size nappy. And if your baby ever does explosive poo, because let's face it, there will be some punamis that not even the best nappies will be able to save. But if it ever does explode and get onto their vests, don't panic. Baby vests are designed to come down as well as up. There is a really wide neck. So just pull the vests down over their shoulders and you will avoid getting the mess all over their face. And if you have a boy like me, you may have noticed that whenever you go to change their nappy and the air hits them down there, they have a wee. So one thing that I used to do is either wait for them to have that or wipe a baby wipe across their stomach and sometimes that would actually make them go. I also used to sometimes put a muslin on their changing area for any spills or I would double up on nappies. So I would slide the new nappy under the old nappy while I was changing them and that way I would be able to catch any leaks during the nappy change. As soon as my boys were old enough to roll or to crawl, I would tend to change them on the floor on a changing mat. I just felt a lot safer with them on that level because they were so wriggly. And now that Jackson is one and he's walking, sometimes I even change him with him standing up because it is so difficult to get him to lay down. But if you can get them to lay 
down, a great hack is to use the leg over wrestling hold. This will really keep them in place. Also have some distractions on hand. So what I found really useful is to have a small basket of toys changing area so I could always hand something to my baby so that they had something to do. Another great tip is to have a mobile over the changing area or even some mirrors up next to them while you change them so they have something to look at. You can also sing songs or a great hack is to enlist some siblings to help you entertain them. I also like to keep antibacterial wipes and a hand sanitizer at our changing station and definitely invest in a nappy bin. Nappy bags just don't always cut it. And a great hack as well is to make yourself a mobile changing station. So all you have to do is get yourself a little basket, add some nappies, a change of clothes, some barrier cream and some wipes and you're good to go. You can change them wherever you are in the house. And I would also recommend having those essentials in the boot of your car for when you're out and about. And a great hack for any soiled baby vest that you might have is to make up a stain remover solution so that you always have it to hand. And a really good way to naturally bleach your baby's vests is to dry them in the sun. Honestly, it really does work. And if all else fails, just admit defeat and put your baby into the bath. Babies love bath time anyway. Right, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.